What we saw in the last video was that if we have a way of computing the weakest precondition of a command, then we have the means for proving rigorously a code segment that has been annotated correct. So what we now need to do is specify the weakest precondition for various commands that we encounter in our pseudocode. Let's have a look at how that works. We're going to start with some very simple commands and then progressively the complexity of those commands will increase. The most basic of all commands is the command skip. How does it work? The skip command does not change the state of any variable. It does nothing, but it does finish. It is a no-op, is another way that sometimes we say this in computer science. Let's have a look at the weakest precondition for the skip command if we wish to complete in a state where x is greater than 4. Why don't you think about this for a second and complete the first homework?